All right, welcome back to your balanced diet of Teletime. Now, time for us to meet our Kajat guests, but let's just give you a, bit, a little bit of intro. Now, we know say laws, they for inside Webodo, Nigeria, and everyone needs to understand within the law they actually talk about, especially when it relates to real estate investment, when it relates to you getting your own land for inside Webodo, Nigeria. And that's now why we get this Kajat guest inside the house, in a legal advisor and expert with one of um, the leading investment and um, real estate um, companies for inside Wobodo, um, Nigeria, called Landway Investment Limited. Now, in they actually interface with clients on the issues of title of land, um, um, advices, it also advises people on the right ways to go in order for them to acquire um, land. Join me, welcome, Teju Moluwa Taiwo inside the house. Good Thank to have you, so you Teju. Thank you so much, good to be here. Now, quickly, let's talk about acquisition, land acquisition. Now, what be the rules where people need to actually follow in order to acquire a land in Nigeria, especially in Lagos State? Okay, so um, basically the, the system of uh, land administration in Nigeria actually bequeaths um, ownership of land to the state governor. So the state governor owns all the land within Lagos State. Okay. So to actually get a land, the governor will have to consent to that particular land given to you. So a family can own a land. No, let me just give an illustration. A family can own a land, maybe, the, maybe either by excision, maybe government acquired some, gave them a part, gazetted the land, and they own the land, or they even have a CFO on the land, and they want to sell the land to you. What you should do is, do your necessary searches at the land registry because that's very important. As for the title, they own, the individual or the family or the community owns on the land. If it's a CFO, if it's a gazette, if it's a, a registered deed of assignment, get a title, go to Alausa, go to the land registry, check it, and most importantly, ask for the survey plan. And get your own survey to actually get the coordinates and then go to also to the um, Soviet General's office, because this is one of the major things that causes compulsory acquisition. I will still come on compulsory acquisition, but majorly some lands are designated for improvement areas by the state government. And maybe the family, you know how Lagos, all these Omonile guys are all in the bid to sell and make quick money. They just sell all the lands to you, and you, without you making your proper due diligence, they just dupe you and scam you. So, Get a survey plan, go to the Soviet General's office, let them look at the coordinates and confirm to you that those lands are actually free from government acquisition. Mm. It's very important. I, 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 let, let's come in here. We're going to talk about the uh, Monile uh, syndrome, the land grabber syndrome very soon. But let's talk about um, in the case whereby a person actually goes through this normal process, process. where well, you don't come as I talk about, but still get a notice from the government say we are coming to bring down your house. Now, the reason why we actually get you in the house, we get one of our colleagues where they just bring down your house. Even, according to Ram, he goes through the right process, but now government come demolish your house. Okay, like I said in the first instance, I said all the lands in Lagos states belongs to the government, okay. to the state governor. Which is static. Static. So the governor actually has a right to acquire the land. But there's a process for acquiring, like if you want to compulsorily acquire a land, maybe if the land, the area has been designated for improvement area or it's just a new area that the government is looking at, okay, we can actually improve on this. It will better the lives of the people. There's a process in place. So the government can come at any time to say, come, this property, we want to use this land yes. and then take your house yes. out. No, but there's a process now. The problem. Okay, let me just take you through the process okay, now. Please. The first process is the gov the government actually gives the notice, and then when they give the notice, they come over to the um, family or to the community where they both talk with the community and say, okay, this is the reason why we're acquiring this land in a gentlemanly way, and then say, okay, because of this, we are offering a compensation. But because of impunity in Nigeria, government does not go through all those process. They just come, demolish. They, even the laws they make, like um, they, there's this law, the um, Urban Regional Planning and Development Law in Lagos. 
is actually the one that provides for all this process and says, okay, if they want to, be, before a, a house can be demolished, there are certain things they must go through. Um, they, there's a, um, a renewal agency mm -hmm. that has to meet with the family or to the, with the individual or the community and explain the reason why they want to demolish the house, the economic benefits to the people and all those things. And then say, okay, we are giving this compensation and they both have to agree. But, and then if the family is not okay and with you said, it. Sorry, sorry, you said they both have, uh, have, have to, to agree. agree. So in the case where they never reach an agreement, now, but the, the government still make moves moves. to bring down your house, can no. you sue the government? Is there any law that protects no, no, landowners? Okay, yeah, I'm still going there. Okay. So if, you're not, if, they, if they don't come to an agreement, now there's another body called them the um, Physical Planning and Development Building Control Agency Appeals Committee. Let's leave that. But it's an appeal committee. Where can you get within, them? No, it's, it's um, under the uh, Ministry of Urban and Regional Planning. Okay. So they again sit down and listen to your views and listen to why they don't, why you don't want to agree with the terms that the government is actually giving to you. And if you still don't agree, within 28 days of that body, the appeals committee giving you their final decision, you have a right to go to court. And then the court has the ultimate right to either say yes or no. And the government has to abide. It's a rule of law. Can you win the government? Now, talking yes. about the law where they actually um, support the government owning land. There has been Can cases. You win them? Yeah, very well. There has been cases. OK, take, for example, this um, in Abuja, um, the, the, when um, the then minister of FCT, Minister um, uh, uh, and Malam Nasir El Rufai, actually had to um, compulsorily acquired um, a local government, Papi, local government, some areas there, and demolished those houses. The courts actually protected the people and said, no, it's wrong. Giving 48 hours notice to the people and then coming to demolish their houses is wrong. And the courts actually awarded damages. So we can't win the government. It's, it's, yeah, people say you can't win the government, but it's, it's, not, it's not true. You can win the government. There has been cases where people go to court. But the problem is most people don't have the economic power to pursue their matter in court. Mm. And then having to get the right lawyers who understand the dynamics of the law and the technicalities to actually fight their course. I, I, I totally agree to, to, to this. Now let's talk about the Omonile syndrome. We feel everly, ever come out that Omonile syndrome mm. for inside Wobodo, Nigeria. Well, 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 the truth is you can never, you can never dispense with the Omonile syndrome. Really? But yeah, they, they always exist because you'll be surprised that you just got the land here, someone is already fighting, you are not the true now, we are the true owners. So the way to avert that is there are real estate companies who help to and do these Omonile guys. Particular... So they bear the whole brunt of the Omonile guys, they settle them, they do all those things. Why you? Freely enjoy your land. I know That's so, after making all your necessary. I know so we'll be sorry just because of our time. Now I know say so one of the major um, issue where a lot of real estate agents will come outside talk is that the industry is not being regulated. Is that still one of the challenges where real estate agents face? Well, yeah, the, the in a way it's regulated. It's regulated because there are laws that actually governs the real estate industry. Yeah, there are some people who, because of Nigeria, impunity is our problem. We don't just follow the rules. And then the only place where those rules can be challenged is in the courts. Many people don't like to go to courts. We just have that warped orientation in Nigeria that anything that has to, the, to do with the courts has to do with criminal matters or something, and everyone just feels like they don't want to go to courts. You hear natural, um, ordinary market women say, you know, we don't want to go to court to blah, 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 and all those things. Because they don't believe it will go, go in their favor. Exactly, and that's another warped orientation. So the, it's actually been regulated, and the only way to actually challenge any form of, um, any form of impunity or any form of non-compliance is in the courts. Are you sure it's been regulated? Because a lot of people, they come outside and say, I bought this land through a real estate agent, but now they don't see the wall where they face. No, but it depends on the real estate agent. That's why I, I as a person, I, as a lawyer, prefer to advise clients, go through a real estate company. In case there's any problem, 
you have the real estate company to deal with is a person in law. An established real an estate. Establishment, yeah, exactly, an established. Make your deal. Okay, someone called me recently and was asking for us, um, corporate affairs commission details just to be sure that, okay, it's established it's, it's and, an it's established and mm -hmm. exactly. So we, we expect people to do all of this, that in case anything goes wrong, because we can't assure things won't go wrong, in case anything goes wrong, you have someone or you have an organization to actually hold on to and then claim your damages from. I wish we could keep you here for a very long time. But would it be your final advice to people who will actually get land, but they are scared, oh, what if this wahala or that wahala actually come up? Okay, so my advice to um, anyone who wants to get land is, number one, your due diligence. Get a lawyer. I tell people, get a lawyer to, to conduct your due diligence. Get the details of um, the title document they have on the land. The, lawyer, the lawyers knows what to do. They go to the land registry. They go to the courts to see if that, if, if that land is a subject matter of litigation, like maybe there's a litigation going on on the matter. Then, after all those ones, if they see any form of requisition they need to make, they make the requisition and then get a survey plan, go to survey your general office, check whether the land is under government acquisition or will be under government acquisition. Check all those things and get a valid set report from your lawyer. Because in case your lawyer deceives you, you can actually also um, take, um, get to the bodies that actually discipline legal practitioners. So you get all those things and most importantly, most importantly, go for physical inspection. I advise that mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Go to the land, see what you want to buy for yourself. You can't invest millions based on hearsay. Thank you so much, um, Teju Moluwa Taiwo, yeah. I'm a legal advisor and expert as regards to real estate investment. Thank you very much. Maybe in the nearest uh, month, we'll have you again to educate yeah, the people pleased, more concerning real estate. I'll be pleased to be here. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.